Councillor Tang. Great, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Um, yes, absolutely. Thank you to Mayor Sohi and his team for putting this omnibus motion together and the opportunity to collaborate. Uh, I was really glad, like my colleagues, to see a lot of important items like affordable housing and climate action included. Um, projects that not only myself, but I think many Edmontonians would like to see funded in this budget cycle as they're urgently needed. Well, I do think there are some further conversations that could have happened on some of the specific pieces. I think this multi-part motion highlights many of our priorities as a council. And I think I want to maybe comment, um, not to repeat some of the things that were already said. I want to comment on some of the specific. Um, you know, I was, I was disappointed to see that the affordable housing aspect of the Walker Integrated Fire Station would not be considered for design in this budget. Um, I can't understand the rationale. Uh, it was actually quite surprising to me that the design of a co-location actually doubles what it costs to design standalone, which I feel contradicts um, the cost savings and the efficiency that was presented initially. Um, however, I do think this is a need not only in our core, but across the city, and I am committed to continue to look for opportunities um, to support a distributed uh, approach to our housing, um, to our affordable housing. Um, and I, you know, I think on this housing piece, I think a lot of people did write in to me about how much concern they have uh, with the small amounts of, um, of funding found. But, you know, I think there is a much bigger picture to achieving our overall affordable housing goals. And I really appreciate administration's readiness and commitment to identify those sources over the next few years. Um, and just to build on, you know, uh, Councillor Wright's point about the reach and scope and impact of uh, some of these pieces um, across the city, yes, there are some uh, located centrally, um, particularly uh, Chinatown, which has a, you know, which um, is, is quite special to me. Um, and it is a long time coming, but I also think some of these pieces, for example, the corner store, I would love to see more corner store programs in my, in War Gotta Heal, but we can't get there until we finish out the current rounds uh, of projects that are in the pipeline. Uh, so very much supporting moving that program uh, that has a lot of positive feedback um, and demonstrated uh, you know, evidence of, of, um, of progress. Uh, and on the on the climate, you know, um, on the climate piece, uh, I think this uh, multi part actually covers a lot uh, of the things that I had initial initially contemplated. Um, so I was glad to see many of those pieces in there. Uh, I think carbon budget presentation a while ago was a huge uh, wake up call for many people, um, many Edmontonians. <laughs> Um, you know, never mind the corporate, our corporate GHG reduction, but it's, uh, it's extremely worrisome how far we still have to go on the community GHG reduction side. Um, there's a lot of tactics and levers we have access to, multimodal road infrastructure, active transportation, public transportation, um, you know, zoning bylaw. Um, I do think it's a false notion to think that a single budget item is going to be a panacea to get us there. Uh, we need all of it, some of which are covered in this budget, some of which is how we operate as a city. And I, we, we need to tap, tap into all of it. Um, and uh, on some of the specifics around the, the bike network um, expansion, um, I think initially I had envisioned a way to kind of get us to the full 155 actually, um, but Unfortunately, I think time ran out to have a more fulsome conversation on that. Um, I also do think, you know, um, I think it's fair to see a full picture of what it is that we are, are building. You know, multimodal is the way of the future. It is embedded in so many of our projects. I think what is on the table is a connection piece. It connects the various pieces together, but it is much broader than just that single item. Um, so I think, you know, on the amendment of the amendment, I very much support that piece. Um, and I think it's fair to show Edmontonians what we have out there. Um, so I think overall, uh, you know, 
very grateful for for the for 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 the work and the conversation, uh, even if they are uh, very difficult ones. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Tang.